This is a demonstration of the live streaming function of Uyala using their backlot. It's very easy to create a live stream using the backlot. As I'm demonstrating here, you just click on add new content and you select live stream and the following window will appear. You simply enter your stream settings, your resolution first. Here I'm entering 640 by 480 at 700 kilobits per second. And one thing unique to Uyala that not many, if any, other video platforms offer is the ability to do adaptive bitrate streaming. So I'm going to enter a lower uh, bitrate at the same resolution here. Uh, and it will automatically up or down convert the, uh, the bitrate based upon the uh, recognized settings of the viewer. So what I have to do, what I've, I'm starting to enter the wrong password here, but you have to enter your backlot password here, uh, which you create when you create a new Yala account. And one thing that's unique to Yala versus the other live streaming uh, setups that I'm testing is that it seems to require the entry of a IP address. Um, it's an easy thing to find. I, I just simply get, get on Google and ask for uh, a website, look for a website that says, what is my IP address? But, uh, and that's what I just did just there. And I just click and copy it. Um, but uh, the problem is if you're encoding to the same live player uh, from different locations, i.e. different IP addresses, uh, that would pose a problem that would make that would require that you have a different live stream player for every location that you're that you're streaming from and if you're somebody who's mobile like I am in the operating room um, that might pose a problem so that's something that we're currently working out uh, with Uyala whether that's a mandate or not and what I just showed you is that's it we just created a live stream I think it took two minutes and nine seconds uh, it's created. It does take a few minutes to provision before it's ready to stream to. It says here it might take up to 30 minutes. In the few streams that I've created uh, in testing, it really only takes usually about five minutes or less. It's very, very quick. So the next thing I'm going to, uh, to demonstrate is just a, a couple of things about the, uh, the live stream itself and the edit window. Uh, first, you can create a preview image uh, that shows up when a viewer uh, takes a look at your, at your player on whatever website it resides. Um, and here, I just go to my hard drive and, and select any, any one of many uh, PNGs or JPEGs or other uh, uh, picture formats. And since BlockJox is, uh, is one of my uh, websites in development, I'm just going to go to my pictures page here. And, uh, and select the logo for Black Jocks uh, as, my, uh, as, my, as my picture. And just taking my time finding it here. But all I'm doing is just going and opening the file uh, and it automatically uploads uh, the file and there you go. It's my current image now is my Black Jocks logo. So in terms of branding, I have had a I've pre-made a, a player uh, that I called the Block Jocks player uh, that has unique attributes. One of which is a uh, click-through logo that appears in the bottom right-hand corner of the player uh, that can be unique for each live stream. Uh, so that if you're uh, you know reselling to a to an end user, uh, that's one advantage of of using this system is. They could have any any one of many URLs uh, that they choose uh, that their logo uh, would click through to uh, that overlays the video. And then you can see ads here. I tried to select my family pre-rolls ad. That's just an, uh, a pre-roll ad that I created. Um, but as you could see there, um, Uyala currently does not support pre-rolls. They only support overlay ads for live streaming, uh, a feature which, as I understand, is going to be upgraded this week. Uh, this week being the second, the first week of January 2010. So uh, when you see this video, they probably are already supporting pre-roll videos uh, on live streaming. So here we're just demonstrating some of the details that you can enter uh, for your live stream. This is the exact same data entry system as far as metadata goes uh, that's used for pre-recorded videos. So your live streams can be searchable uh, with the same uh, degree of of, uh, of ease with metadata entry uh, as your as your video on demand uh, library is, which is a good feature. 
You can change the title name, add a description, add some name value pairs uh, as far as custom metadata entry. Uh, and that's what I just demonstrated there. So I'm not sure how the labeling works. Uh, I'm just sort of clicking there and trying to figure it out, but uh, I'm not sure how the, if, if, if labels uh, is an option. But in any case, as, here's your embed codes. You have an HTML and a Flash embed code, and you can either just copy it to your clipboard there, uh, or you can do the uh, the poor man's technique there and just, um, and just right-click and copy the whole thing, which I'll do here in a moment. Uh, you can also click autoplay, which will allow the live stream to play automatically when a viewer uh, opens that uh, the, the web page that the live stream is on. So here I'm just copying the uh, HTML embed code and just right clicking and copying it. And all you would have to do uh, uh, for the developers watching would be to just paste that embed code uh, onto your web page and voila, you are uh, you're, you're live streaming. So as far as the encoding info, this is what you would enter using uh, Wirecast or Flash Live Media Encoder or a TriCaster. Uh, you would enter this encoding uh, information into your software or hardware encoding system, um, and it would stream to these uh, to this uh, these locations. So and notice it's got two different uh, uh, stream uh, bit rates there. Uh, with two different stream names, uh, that would only apply if you have software that's capable of live streaming uh, to um, uh, to multiple bit rates. Uh, laugh, Flash Live Media Encoder will do that. Um, uh, Wirecast will do that. Uh, interestingly, TriCaster, uh, although it's an excellent um, uh, system, uh, only encodes to one uh, stream name at a time. So if you're using a TriCaster and you want to do adaptive bit rate streaming, uh, you do need to uh, encode with an external encoder in order to accomplish that. So that's it. That is how live streaming is accomplished using the Uyala video platform.